Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a happy Friday and a great beginning to your Memorial Day weekend. It's been raining here all week, and the sun finally came out about an hour and a half ago, but we're supposed to get really bad storms this evening and tonight, so we'll see. But then the rest of the holiday weekend is supposed to be pretty, so I hope I can get outside. It's going to be muddy, but the weeds will come up easier if it's wet. So I wanted to do a um, little quick look at the patriotic cupboard in the kitchen. Most of the kitchen is bees and lemons, and I'm going to do a tour of that uh, probably this afternoon. And then I'll do the living room tomorrow. There's not any patriotic yet in the living room, but... I will be starting on the patriotic items everywhere this week because I want to get them done way ahead of the 4th. So, Y'all know this is one of my favorite places to always decorate, and I will get closer so that you can see everything. There's old, new, Ray Dunn, some things that we've gotten at yard sales. But lots of things that I love. You can hear the squeaky floors. Okay, let me get over here. Y'all know I always tell you this is a hard place to show. Let's start up at the top. I have the Ray Dunn bird houses and that beautiful lemon sign. And then I put that really pretty old sifter there and I will put some red white and blue florals in it when I find the box that has them in it I haven't uh, got out the box that has my flags or my florals in it those are terramoto bowls and these are our adorable little Lori Mitchell that our daughter got us one year for Mother's Day and Father's Day there's that little vintage patriotic bank that we got at a yard sale recently. And some little miniature pieces of pottery. Some of the beautiful old spice tins that has the red and blue. And the star dish, y'all remember I got that at a yard sale recently. Then down on this shelf, there's one of my favorite tins, the Campfire Marshmallow with the Terramoto Bowls on top. And there's those cute little birdhouse measuring spoons I got last year. And back in the back is something you all have not seen. We bought this hand-painted slate or chalkboard years ago at a street festival in Indiana. And I had actually forgotten all about it because it was kind of in the back of a cupboard. But I brought it out to go with my campfire marshmallow. And the lady that painted it, she just did an excellent job with the spatterware and the baker's cocoa. And it was perfect for this shelf with this vignette. And there's the old Uncle Sam's hat, salt and pepper the little stars and stripes, salt and pepper, and the little USA rolling pin. And here's the only patriotic Lori Mitchell I have that our daughter and her boyfriend gave me last year for Mother's Day, I believe it was. And I will put some red, white, and blue florals in this old ironstone pitcher too. And it's just sitting on an old book. Then down here on this shelf are the only patriotic items that I have been able to get this year. The America the Beautiful. I love that. I have some other pieces, mugs with those stars on it that matches this series. And that sign was from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember whether it was last year or year before last. And the hero is Ray Dunn, and that, that I've had and back there is that adorable little patriotic 
tree that came from LTD Commodities last year. And the red and blue spatter ice cream bowls, those are the only other thing in the Patriotic series that I've been able to get this year. And they're sitting on a couple old ironstone oval plates. And there's the vintage wine cork screw that I got last week. And behind it is my one and only English breadboard. And then right here, you'll see the bottom bowl is the one I've had all along. And there is that beautiful red doily that Juanita made us. And I set the bowl that I got this past weekend in it so they'd both be together. And I just put a check napkin and an old beater and the cookie cutter. Those all came from yard sales recently. And these beautiful bright blue beads, those are from Dollar General. Let me see if I can get back so you can see what's down here. I have strawberries in the farm fresh and the free range egg dishes. And there's that little red truck that we got last year. And the little trailer was what our friend Ellen gave John for part of his birthday. And I have those little twinkle tins in the uh, truck. There's the homemade red loaf dish. And just some other random Ray Dunn. And my stack of little vintage bowls. And that little red and white transfer pitcher. And you can see my pothos is doing great. I will go over here and show you the tear tray. I'm trying to be careful not to fall over the computer cord. I always tell you that. When I'm doing the whole room tour, I unplug it because I have tripped over it numerous times. Okay, I have the pothos in that vintage red flower pot. I have some of my tea strainers, the Radon salt and pepper, the little vintage creamer. Those beads, I honestly cannot remember where they came from, whether they were Walmart or whether they came from uh, Dollar General or where, but there they are. And then down in the bottom, I have the vintage Tetley tea. There's a red and white transfer plate back there and another vintage tea strainer. The home is in the window. And down there, I have some of the old bird houses. So that's gonna be all for this little tour of the patriotic cupboard. I will be back and I'm going to do the kitchen tour soon. So, see you soon. Till the next time. Bye-bye.